Hello, everybody. We are going to make a brain cake today. <laughs> that was my evil laugh. All right, so if you hear children in the background, that's because they are home. It's the weekend. I am now carving the shape of the brain, or what kind of is the shape of the brain. And what do I do with the scraps? Because I get asked that all the time. And you're probably thinking the same thing as I carve right now. Well, I pick it up and take a bite. And then I go, mmm. And I'm like, damn it, that's going to go straight to the thighs. Because it never seems to go anywhere that you want it to. Just to your trouble areas. Well, let's get back to the cake. Okay, still carving away at the sides, trying to figure out what shape. I don't really use a template, but I do have the iPad next to me on a picture of a brain. So I have Googled front brain, back brain, bottom brain, you know, stuff like that. Although Google can be scary because it'll show you pictures of other stuff you didn't want to see. But yeah. Okay, so we all know the brain goes down a little bit from the middle and then from the back, it actually curves in. So I had to figure out which one's going to be the front and which one's going to be the back. All right, I'll finish carving and let you guys continue watching. Okay, I'm back. I'm adding buttercream. So I'm frosting over it in buttercream. Believe it or not, this is times two speed, so I'm not really this fast. But it doesn't look like it's sped up. I wish they offered a faster option that you can speed it up. Okay, so I'm positioning the camera for you guys to get a better look at it. I know my editing skills are on point. All right, then, I think it's about now that I realize it's not exactly the shape I want it. So I think I took some of that scrap cake, which is a good thing I didn't throw it away, and uh, started to add it to the front. Oh, there you go. All right. Buttercream is like glue. It's awesome. It just sticks to that baby right there. So I added that to the front. And uh, again, the shape was not like how I wanted it. So again, carving more. And adding more. Okay. I don't think this needs an explanation, so I will let you listen to the iMovie music while I while you continue to watch. Okie dokie, so before what I used to do with a brain was roll out a long thin piece of fondant over and over and over again because you needed a really long piece of fondant, but then it hit me. I was like, Mimo, you are so slow. Why don't you just use buttercream? So I bought the tip, I believe it's number 12 tip from Wilton because it's got the round hole on top. And Look at that, piping it on. Man, this cut my time in like, by two hours, literally. Cause I would have had to roll the fondant all the same size. And this way I'm just piping on. Now, I, like I said, I have the iPad open on a brain and I'm looking at the, um, what's it called? The pattern design of it. Yeah, yeah, you see how it sticks out once you pipe the buttercream on? 
when I put that in the fridge, it hardens, obviously. So when I took it out, I just smoothed it with my finger and that seemed to work out great. It's so satisfying to watch. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to continue piping and you can continue watching. No need for a voiceover. Back to the music. Oh, we are airbrushing this baby. So, what's up, Maya? I'm doing a voiceover for my YouTube. You don't have to look at me like that. Anyways, back to my scheduled regularly programming. Regular scheduled programming. <laughs> I mixed a copper tone color with... What? <laughs> with black a really 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 tiny amount of black and then I'm airbrushing in between the little layers that yeah in between so that it gives it that depth that you're looking for in between so it gives it that depth all right this is actually a good airbrush machine I bought it from Michael's I forgot what brand it is, but they only have two brands anyways. And it was like $150, but don't forget to use a 50% off coupon so you can get it for $75. Whoop, whoop. So that was pretty good because I bought a cheap one from eBay one time and it broke like two years later. And then I bought another one and then it broke again. And I was like, you know what? Might as well just get a good machine. So I bought this one. So you're, I'm pressing very, very light on it because dude, it has three levels. And this is the small, small level. I airbrush outside because one time I airbrushed inside, I airbrushed blue. And uh, believe it or not, when I went to use the computer upstairs and I put my hand on the mouse, I looked at my hand. My hand was blue. Do you know what that means? That means blue dust flew everywhere in the house that I had a panic attack. Okay? A panic attack. I like went on OCD cleaning mode. I had to wipe all the couches down, the walls, the floors, the everything, because I knew it was just everywhere. So I never made that mistake again. And I just airbrush outside. Yes, even in the wintertime. I go out there in the snow and I airbrush. Creates pretty colors on the snow. All right, what am I doing now? Uh, I'm still airbrushing. Wow, I airbrushed a long time. So I think I'm still going in between the layers. I didn't realize how many layers are in between there. Yep, yep. Now see what I do? I, I spray the bottom too so that it gives it depth. And now I'm very lightly spraying over the brain with a copper tone color. Very, very light. You want a light mist. Just a mist. Okay, yeah, see? A mist. Mm hmm Oh, oh, there you go. Looking like some brain. Now, I didn't show the part where I added like a little bit of blood. So what I did was I took some, you know, airbrush uh, red and copper tone mixed it together and kind of dabbed at it in between the layers with the the paint so that it looked like it was dripping a little bit of bread blood um, oh, oh here I took some red also and I'm adding it in between I thought it needed a little more depth so anywho after this you're gonna see it all done with the blood and there's going to be a scalpel with scissors going through as well because this was for a surgeon but you can make it for Halloween 
That would be pretty cool. You know what would be cool? If you put like raspberry mush inside and then you open it and then the raspberry blood comes out and it's like gory. Ooh, no, that's no. I'm not gross. No. It's, it's fine. All right, next up is the pictures. Stay tuned for more. See you next time. Enjoy. Bye.